The Lamborghini showroom in Dubai is currently home to the most expensive car in the world. The Lamborghini is made from gold, platinum and encrusted with diamonds and is set to bring $7.8 million at auction. But the million dollar car is only a prototype and is eight times smaller than the actual vehicle, but 12 times more expensive. This prototype, which will never be made into a real car, was built in Germany by Robert Wilhelm Gulpen, who has been creating luxury car models from solid precious metals for the past 12 years. Quality of craftsmanship, precision, individuality and value are the trademarks of the vehicle currently on display in the UAE. Lately I've been reading a lot about these uh, new cars out on the market like this velvet Ferrari um, in London and I saw this one on Facebook and I thought I'd like to come down and have a look at it. I actually thought it was going to be a life-size one, but apparently it's just a model. The project will secure four entries into the Guinness Book of World Records, being the world's most expensive car and the secure showcase made from bulletproof glass, the most prestigious logo and the only car to be built from a 500 kilogram block of solid gold. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I love diamonds myself and gold, so I think it's really, really beautiful. Um, but I myself would honestly not, not buy something like that. I think for the money you can buy a lot more beautiful things than just the car. The vehicle is built on a carbon fiber base, which is then covered with gold. The headlights are encrusted with diamonds and each seat will have 700 precious stones woven into the fabric. In London they call it the Ramadan rush where everybody takes their luxury cars to London, they ship them off, whereas we just take our suitcase, they're taking their fancy cars. And fair enough, if you have the money, go ahead. Um, I would never waste my money on such things, but each to their own. I would say that it's going to be very appropriate here in Dubai, especially police driving around with Lamborghini, Porsches and things like that, so it would definitely suit it here in Dubai, I would say. The plan is to auction the customised and personalised vehicle, but if a buyer wants to step aside the bidding process and buy it now, the maker will accept 7.8 million. A percentage of this purchase price will be donated to charity. Well, I would say it's a very good idea that 10% of the money is going to a children um, fund and that, they spo that they're sponsoring the 10% of the money for that. I think the only good thing about this car is that 10% of it is uh, going to charity. Um, otherwise, I guess it belongs in Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, like the one that's made out of uh, Swarovski crystals. Currently showcased at the Dubai showroom, it will head to Abu Dhabi by the end of September and finally to Dubai International Motor Show in November before embarking on a world tour. So whether it is real or not, Dubai's luxury lifestyle is making headlines once again. For JN1, Amy Kitchingman, Dubai.